Hello friends, I am Dan and today in this video we are going to install KDE Plasma on Ubuntu. So basically KDE Plasma is a desktop environment which is based on QML which uses OpenGL for hardware acceleration which results in better performance and reduced power consumption. So why do we install it? The main reason which I came up with is each and every component in this desktop environment can be modified according to your need and the performance it offers is top notch. So without wasting time, let's start the installation process. There are basically three types of installation. First one is the KDE full version. This installs all the software which comes with the original KDE Neon. And the second one is the KDE standard. This installs some of the required tools along with the desktop environment and the final one is the KDE Plasma desktop. This one installs only the desktop environment. For the purpose of this video I'll be using the KDE full version. You can install any of the type of versions. The commands used in the video will be in the description so make sure to check it out. Now head over to the terminal by pressing Ctrl Alt and T. Now just type sudo apt install kde full and then hit enter it will ask for your password just enter it now hit y for confirmation and you're good to go it will download some files in the process at some point in the installation it will ask for some user inputs so please watch the whole video for better understanding Now as you can see, it's asking for a display manager. So in this, you can choose SDDM as the default display manager and hit enter. After that, the process is complete. Now we have to just reboot once. The top right corner, now just click the KD Plasma and just log into your system. And there you go, you have successfully installed KDE Plasma on your Ubuntu. So if you are interested to know about KDE customizations, make sure to watch the video which will be up here, the top left corner of the screen. If you think this video was useful, make sure to subscribe for more cool contents like this. With that said, let's meet in the next one.